Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, are you trying to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 but keep running into the frustrating error code which is 0xc190012 e So, don't worry, you are not alone. And I've got the solution for you. So, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I fix this error and successfully upgrade in my system. So, whether you're upgrading from Windows 10 or an earlier version of Windows 11, this guide will help you get past this issue and finally enjoy the latest features of the 24H2 update. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back and let's fix this together. So the first step that I would want you to do is to go to settings and then go to Windows update just to check whether things are working smooth or not. So as you can see I'm getting this error, I'll hit on retry and it says it's downloading now it failed again so what I will do next is I will go to any web browser you can open any web browser of your choice but I will open Microsoft Edge in this case and I will type in download Windows 11 that's a very simple search that you have to perform and make sure that you open the very first link which says download Windows 11 from Microsoft.com and once you open that link you will see here it says Windows 11 installation assistant just download it and now open the downloaded file now hit accept and install and wait for the download to complete so I have fast forward the entire downloading process since it's installing all the updates but still it's not gonna go through and it has given us this error now what we will do is we'll close out of this box so now the next step is to open the directory C Windows and temporary and delete all the files. So you can skip the files that are unable to delete. Now you can remove the temporary files and the location for the temporary files is C Windows users and then your username then comes app data local and temporary. Either you can type in percent temp percent and then also you'll be able to directly access this folder and you have to delete all the remaining files from there. Avoid deleting the ones which you are unable to delete. Now go to settings, system, storage and remove all the unnecessary files. Please make sure that you avoid deleting the downloads folder and then hit remove file and wait for the operation to complete. Now we have to run disk cleanup. Just type in disk cleanup and open the disk cleanup from the options make sure that all the options are checked and once they all are checked just hit clean up system files now you can also remove your system restore and shadow copies from this box I don't need it so I'll hit clean up and delete but you can ignore this option and you can come back to the screen and select make sure that everything is checked and then you hit delete option so it will delete all the unwanted files from your system now Quickly head over to C users default app data local Microsoft Windows WS US and now delete the file and restart the system. Post restart of your machine then head towards Windows update once again and now you will notice that the update is being downloaded and it is also being installed. Congratulations and now if you're still stuck at some place please leave the comments below. I will definitely try to help you out. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.